Hello everyone and welcome to Activity Time Quiz Time. Coming up are 10 questions and a bonus round. I'm going to read you a question, it will be followed by an answer. Feel free to pause the video at any time you need to discuss things or more time to answer the question. This can be done as an individual, as part of a group or in teams, it's up to you. Okay, let's get started. So uh, question number one. I've used this before in quizzes, and it's who said the catchphrase, nice to see you, to see you nice. Okay, very well-known catchphrase, nice to see you, to see you nice. It was Bruce Forsyth. Now, a lot of you may remember him from his game shows he did, the Generation Game being a popular one, or in more recent years, Strictly Come Dancing. He actually started as a dancer himself, so some of you may remember that as well. Now, talking of dancing, it moves us on to question number two. There were, going back to the 1930s, there was a very famous dance couple who appeared in many films together. One of the names was Ginger Rogers. Remember that name, Ginger Rogers? Okay. So question number two, who was Ginger Rogers' dance partner? The answer is... Fred Astaire. Okay, so, um, yeah, like I say, going back to the 1930s, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, two really big Hollywood names. Many films they did together, one including Top Hat. You may have heard of that one before. Fred Astaire also starred in a film called Easter Parade. And question number three is, who sang the song alongside Fred Astaire Easter Parade. So it was a famous song, famous film as well. So who was the lady who sang Easter Parade? Okay, the answer to question number three, it was Judy Garland. Also known, of course, for Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. But she did sing Easter Parade. Okay, question number four, talking of Easter, I've uh, put in a chocolate question. So, which brand first produced chocolate cream and peppermint cream? Peppermint cream is still uh, very well known. Chocolate cream was, was the original one they did. So, question number four, who first produced those chocolate bars? The answer is Fry's. It was Fry's peppermint cream, of course, and Fry's chocolate cream. Okay, um, so question number five, I'm going to take the word Fry. And the question is, which young animal is often referred to as a fry? That's quite a tricky one. Um, some of you may not know this, but the answer is a fish. Yes, a, a fish apparently is sometimes referred to as a fry, a young fish that is. Bit of an easier one coming up now. Um, num question number six, what would you call a baby sheep? Hopefully a lot of you have got that one. A baby sheep, the answer is, it's a lamb, of course. Yes, so a baby sheep is a lamb. That was question number six. Okay, so question number seven, we've talked about Easter. Moving on to the summer now. Uh, a lot of seaside towns are associated with a stick of rock. So question number seven is, which seaside town was first associated with a stick of rock? Okay, the answer is Blackpool, a Blackpool stick of rock. That's where it originated. Someone who sang a song about that, funnily enough, um, my little stick of Blackpool rock, I think it was called, was a man called George Formby. Very famous again, heading back into the sort of 1940s era. George Formby was very famous for playing a musical instrument. So question number eight, can you tell me which instrument did George Formby play? The answer is a ukulele. A ukulele very similar to a, a banjo. If you, if you said banjo, I think that's worth a point as well. Um, I'm sure you can name one of his songs. Did a couple of really famous songs. One was called When I'm Cleaning Windows. The other one, um, Leaning on the Lamp Post. Maybe you can sing those songs. Now, okay, question number nine then. From playing the ukulele to playing football, one of my favorite hobbies. Um, the question is, number nine, which football team are nicknamed the Hammers? 
Okay, so that's question number nine. Which football team are nicknamed the Hammers? The answer is West Ham. Okay, West Ham are often referred to as the Hammers. Now, you may not know, but another nickname they had, the original one, was actually the Irons. Um, but yes, they're more known for the Hammers. Okay, so we're at question number 10 already. So I started with nice to see you, to see you nice. I'm going to finish with the song, We'll Meet Again. So the question is, who sang that song, We'll Meet Again? Again, it's going back to the 1940s, very famous wartime song, We'll Meet Again, was Vera Lynn. Also known as the Force's Sweetheart. So well done if you got that one right. Also known for her song, The White Cliffs of Dover, another really famous song she did. Okay, so there we go, there's your 10 questions on today's activity time, quiz time. Um, a bonus question then can be done in two, two ways. Um, you can either give yourselves one minute, I'm going to give you a question, you've got a minute to get as many answers as you can. Alternatively, if you're in teams, then one team will come up with one answer, the second team will get, get the next answer, and so on, until you run out of, run out of answers. So, if you've got one minute on the clock ready, your question is, it's to do with chocolate, how many brands of chocolate can you name? Okay, lots running through my head. I'm sure there's some really familiar ones you've got there as well. So, see how many you can get in one minute. How many brands of chocolate? Okay, that's it guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. My name's Brett, by the way. This is Activity Time Quiz Time. Feel free to post any comments on the video. Tell me how many points you got out of 10 and how many you got on the bonus round, maybe. Okay, have fun, and most importantly, guys, keep smiling. Thank you very much.